everybody. This is Excalibur. Here's the proof. Hello. I am back from a very, very, very long adventure. Uh, you know, the ravine that I've been filling up down there, well, it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, well, I found that it went on and on and on and on and on. And it kept going and going, and I just got tired. I found some uh, lovely um, mine shaft, and I did not go through the entire thing. I ran out of inventory space. Um, I've gone through about 3,000 torches lighting up everything downstairs, and uh, I found golden apple. Um, oh, and. Yeah, that's all iron. <laughs> all of it. Iron, iron, iron. And uh, I'm currently smelting it all. Uh, last time I created this ender chest, and here's even some more of the stuff that I found. Yay. And some music boxes. Uh, music discs, which I'm going to... Give a couple. I'm gonna put them right here. We'll go ahead. Uh, why don't we just make one? Make a music box, a jukebox, and we will throw this down right there. Yeah, I have dirt. All right. Which ones did we have? We've got. 13. Let's turn up that music. Oh, sorry. There we go. We want that. We'll put it at 10. Whoa, that's loud. We'll put it at 4%. No, 2%. That's good. All right. There's that one. Okay. Not really fun to dance to. Okay. Well, in any case, we now have two music discs. We. I think we've got more. Um, I have not found them in any. Oh, they're there. We've got cat, and we've got. 13. Well, look at that. We've got a copy for Dave and a copy for me. And um, when my friend Apollo shows up, ding, as Twitter goes off, uh, when my friend Apollo shows up, then uh, we will have an awesome, awesome little remix. Now, let's see here. Um, he'll get some stuff, too. So we're going to take one of these and put it here for Dave. Um, I'm thinking about opening up the uh, the base to Apollo. And I'm going to name this Maximus. I don't mind spending that few extra because... Come in here and find my white horse. Maximus. Now let's make sure that this is my horse. All right. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I grabbed the white one. Dave has uh, the brown, the chestnut. All right. Um, and then we have three of these, and we have an iron armor. Uh, we were gifted the diamond horse armor and uh, a lot of other stuff. Um, and that's cool. That's cool. I don't mind getting gifts. Um, I just don't like getting lots and lots and lots of help. Uh, let's see here. We have a lot of lapis. So when the server 
does update when the server does update we will have ourselves a lot of enchanting materials all right uh, we've got that look at all that I am pleased see here I don't want to put those into their quartz blocks because I do not believe they can be undone glowstone dust cannot be undone redstone can uh, that's because it's not a storage block oh I've got gold up there right here we got some here so let's do this recipe there we go I love any eye it makes things so much easier and there we go I think that is all of that let's go ahead and blip those back in there or as a zombie Cleo would say boop them back into the inventory I'm not gonna sort it um, let's see here oh I forgot the gold nuggets which of course nine creates an ingot and yeah it's not enough there we go I'm gonna put this golden apple right in here and uh, let's see here I think that's it this is a beast of a pick unbreaking three efficiency five and fortune three Man, if I went down below, it would be Instamine. And I'm thinking about doing Instamine at diamond level to increase our diamond count. Um, we were gifted 32 stacks, or three, 32 blocks of diamond. So uh, that's pretty cool. And that's two pieces of dirt. All right. Now... If you look at the mini map here, directly in the north position at the very top, you'll see a gray arrow. That is a skeleton spawner. We are going to be uh, eventually putting a transportation system there. But I want to see exactly where that is on the overworld. Because a lot of time was spent out over the water. Skeleton spawner, 400 blocks away. E gads. There's a spider spawner there, a spider spawner there. An entrance to the caves over there. That is the ravine that I was starting to work on. And then we have, of course, our zombie spawner right down there under our base. So we're going to have plenty of stuff to do XP with. All right. What all was I doing here? Okay, I think we need to get some XP. Oh, and we've got two more discs. So we'll just go ahead and pull those into the inventory. Not there. And that's Dave's gift of awesome. We can put that in. Brant, brant, booting! Okay, so we've got a copy for Dave, a copy for me, and a copy for, well, that's Dave's, me, and that's for uh, Apollo when he gets online. Hooray, Apollo, hooray, hooray, you're going to be here soon. And it may be that, well, I've already offered to give Apollo a space in Flan so he can build a house. Um, we'll have to see what we can do. Um, he likes to big build big things as well. Um, big castles and junk. By the way, you will notice that this is now empty. Um, that's because I moved the beacon to bedrock. That is a trick, by the way. And here we go. I'm going down, down, down into the bowels of hell. There we are. And you can see if I just 
Uh, you can see there's the glass there. Let's come over here. Somehow a pig got down here. I think somebody put him down here as a prank. Well, he could have gotten down here by himself, but I highly doubt that. Um, there's our lovely beacon there. I'm going to go down even further. All right, now, with that beacon, it's on haste. Watch this. That is super quick. And I like it. I like it a lot. Um, we're going to see. Zombie spawner is 20. It's actually the pink over there. So, let's see. getting gold and everything already look at that it's almost like I'm playing feed the beast again it makes me happy now this pick is so good it insta mines even ores or very close to it um, the haste 2 beacon plus an efficiency 5 pick will get you insta mine of stone and that my friends is sweet cheesy goodness all right so i think right here is where we have to go all right and the zombie spawner goes is downward so we're gonna go ahead and just light this up and we start going down it's near lava so that's fine we hear lava I'm not worried Zombie spawner is up from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our waypoints. And the zombie spawner is Y is 14. Back to game. Our Y is currently 16. So if we go like this, we should run right into it I could not have picked a perfect a more perfect play way to get there not at all now this is gonna be our XP farm for now all right it's not that far away either <laughs> All right, let's bring this over. We're going to fill this in because we don't need it filled in. We are going to do um, a mob farm. Of course, we're going to do a mob farm. But it's not going to be your traditional um, push the mobs around and drop them to their death kind of thing. We are actually going to ensure that our uh, guys are pushed around yes but they're going to be going through um, a lava blade they're just going to be pushed through water and then lava then water then lava then water then lava or something along those lines because I want to try something different. All the mob spawners that I've done before have involved me um, running the guys through a drop that to kill them. And I want to do something different. And double up these walls. Now in Feed the Beast, um, as you know, I 
Well, you may not know, but for those who are not in the know, I play Feed the Beast. And one of the uh, things you can do is use machinery and automation to kill your mobs. They're called grinders, or you can even use autonomous activators. All right. There we go. Doubled up. And uh, you just push the mob in question into um, a death room. <laughs> this might be a little too narrow. It's supposed to be 9 by 7. Let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, 9 by 7. So I'm actually going to knock out this wall here. We're still within the, the haste beacons range, I think. And I'm going to mine up the floor. We're going to go down to... I'm going to get this all prepared and ready to go. There we go. Get that. And, uh, as a matter of fact... This, I'm not used to this. It's like a machine gun. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is, now that this is pushed back, I'm going to... Whoa! Well, that's nice. Apparently, uh, that was just the right amount of light for him to spawn. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. And we'll go from the top. So, what we're probably going to do is, and now this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, um, if we, we have to take out the floor. down by two because then the zombies will fall uh, right in there I'm gonna get all this mousy cobble because mossy cobble in this texture pack is cool I really like it back here. Make sure that we're at the outermost range to kill the, <laughs> the stone. We have to go down one more. So we'll do this. Make sure that's all in there. sure that I do that because we do not want those zombies spawning in here while we're working on this. Now we're going to go ahead and pop out this as well. That looked weird. And look what we find. Oh 
Oh boy. So that's one hit. Let's hurry up and get this filled in. These low light levels are going to get those zombies coming out. Saying, Dur -dur. And they're going to want to jump on my face and call me lunch. Oopsie. Okay. One of the hazards of instant mining underground all right so we're filling this in here and we will fill in the floor as well and make it all cobblestone because well then it will be consistent there we go all the way down to here now what we can do is we can force them this way and then through but we will figure that out later. I'm going to go ahead and pop that. So we have a torch right there. And we need to go down one more level. Because I want to make this whole stone floor cobble. And this is going to be the layout of our mob farm so now I could do a, a mob vader mob evader but I really don't feel like going through all that hassle and uh, one of the th tricks you do is you jump up and you put two cobble there because that will keep the zombies from spawning on top of that so there we go and uh, I'm not gonna do this yes if we're gonna do it let's do it all at the same time shall we enough to go pink 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 there we go now the question is well we need one more right there all right I'm just putting in a, a cobble ceiling as well because well I'm wired to be a little anal retentive about stuff like that not to make fun of or diminish people who are actually anal retentive <laughs> um, but this should be a nice looking place I'm not making it super fancy because well I am not a fancy man So we have one fully cobblestoned room that is lit up nicely. And uh, we will be ready to start spawning zombies soon. We will probably push them this this way maybe. Or let's let's go ahead and push this wall out one more. Because I think having a slightly larger room will be better. There we go. One, two, 
Boom, boom, boom. The other day, my three-year-old son was watching me play, so I started hopping around and dancing on the screen, saying "Hoppity hop, hop, hoppity hop, hop," and uh, he had a ball. Now, when he's 15 and I'm doing that, he's gonna say, "Dad, you're a dork." But hey, as long as I have his attention now, right? Right. Alright, that means that the light level there was easily low enough to spawn stuff. So, I'm going to... Oh, that's fine. Just make sure we have a torch here. That's fine because we are actually going to be doing this. bad Davor's not here. I know he likes learning the technical sides of Minecraft. We started a, a minor, a very minor redstone tutorial for him so that he could get an idea of what we were talking about when we were saying, talking about bud switches and um, redstone circuits and everything. Well, there we go. We've got a nice, um, I think it's square. Let's see here. It's one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, it's seven by seven. And we are probably going to push them this way into a too deep trench, which we can do it like this. So it would be three wide. Or three high. Torch. And then the trench is going to be two blocks. And the water will push them over there. And we'll have the collection area over here as well. Let me just get a way to get out. Well, there we go. So my goal is to have it come this way to a collection room. Maybe a mob softener. Maybe not. We'll have to see. Now I want to make this all cobblestone. Curses. Curses. Well, you get the idea. Um, so uh, I could do it too wide, but I think a single file should be fine. And yeah, we're not going to see this, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it cobble anyway. And I am almost of the inclination. to whoop, do, 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 do. do there we go and then we have this and that which we do that for put this guy back I am almost of the inclination to use uh, the mossy cobble for where all the mobs flow water that is that is just scary fast. Especially when I'm hearing all this bubbling lava going on. But we're going to make use of our lava. And do do. 
do. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yikes. All right. And I have just this right here, right there. There we go. Yay. All right, I'm going to get out of here because we run out of time. But the goal is to push. I do have a bucket of water. Is to push the zombies off the edge. So we're going to have to go one more back and uh, put the put the water right there actually like a soul. Now when we put that in there, you should see it should just go right up to the edge and not down in there. And that's what we're looking for. And we're going to have uh, um, a bunch of streams doing that. I don't want stuff spawning down here. So we're going to grab this. And I'm going to put it back. Right here is good. And that one fell. That should be all right. Okay. So until next time. Yep, I'm doing it. I'm going to do this. torch. So until next time, this is Excalibur. Enjoy playing Minecraft. Enjoy playing games. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. It lets me know that people are actually watching my stuff. And if you really really enjoyed it and want to see more please subscribe and favorite that would be the bees knees the awesome sauce see you next time the sex caliber and I